गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम कीवर्ड्स ऑफ अ ब्यूटीफुल पॉइम ग्रैनीज ट्री क्लाइंबिंग इट्स वेरी ब्यूटीफुल पॉइम बाय रस्किन पॉन्ट इन दिस पॉइम द पोइट शोज हिज ग्रैनीज लव टुवर्ड्स नेचर एंड हर पैशन फॉर क्लाइंबिंग ट्रीज सो नाउ वी शैल डिस्कस नियर अबाउट ट्वेंटी की so first word is genius genius means great natural ability a person who is extraordinary like the poet says my granny was a genius because she was the master of the art of climbing trees second word is tries or in a tries spreading or high she would be up their branches in a trice so third word is gracefully gracefully means in an elegant way in an elegant manner fourth word is disgracefully disgracefully means hatefully next word is feared fear means scared like when it was feared by all that one day she would have a terrible fall next word is rescue rescue means save from danger to save someone from any kind of danger we went to the rescue and then the doctor took granny's temperature so next word is recommend recommend means kya suggest suggest something when she was rescued then the doctor strongly recommend a quiet week in bed be bed rest for one week to granny next word is sigh sigh means deep breath next word is relief relief means the removal of stress or pain when the doctor recommend a one week bed rest to granny then the family member sighed with relief tucked tucked means covered and covered her up well next word is whispered whispered means the act of speaking in a quiet voice means to speak slowly next word is peace peace means a state of tranquility next word is undaunted undaunted means boldly bravely here was a word pace this means it's very beautiful word before this there are two lines and these two lines cover two literary devices like a poor granny for her it was like a brief season in hell here is a comparison between two different things so literary device simile is used here simile means a direct comparison between two totally different things with the help of as or like and second while every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaves and uh, in these lines a uh, sec uh, second literary device is used that is 
personification personification means when a human qualities are given to any idea no living things or any animals so the next word is undaunted undaunted means boldly or bravely next word is expert expert a person who is perfect in any art other word you can say intelligent intelligency next word is assistance assistance means help when granny called for her son and asked him to build a tree top house for her then her son replied that's all right i'll start work tonight with my expert assistance and he soon finished the char next word is char char means work job next word is in stat in stat means in grand style in elegant manner next word is sherry sherry means a kind of wine she sits there in straight वह अपने ट्री टॉप हाउस में इस तरीके से बैठते हैं शानदार तरीके से एंड ड्रिंक्स शेयरिंग विद मी और वाइन इंजॉय करती है अपने ग्रैंड सन के साथ नाउ देर आर टू लिटरी डिवाइसिस फर्स्ट सिमली एंड सेकेंड पर्सोनिफिकेशन सो वंस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू सिमली मीन्स वेन अ कंपेरिजन इज मेड बिटवीन टू टोटली डिफरेंट थिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ लाइक और एज like you are like the moon you are like a star and in personification in personification human qualities are given to a non living or any idea or any animal this is called personification so dear students you will write plus learn these 20 keywords and be ready for your spell bee test and uh, listen this recording twice and thrice and use these words in your daily routine thanks and have a nice day